Hi, Mike here. Just over a year ago, I created a YouTube video about geography data types in Excel. If you've not seen it, I'll put a link in the description of this video. Anyway, a couple of weeks ago, somebody posted a question in the comment section of that video. The question was about removing the word language from the language property, and I thought that it would make a good video in its own right. I did actually reply in the comments of that video, but having thought about it, the formula that I came up with to answer the question is more complicated than it needed to be. So I've removed my original answer from the comments, and in this video, I provide a shorter and easier to understand solution. As usual, if you want to follow along, you can download a copy of the demo file from the link in the description below. So here I have a list of countries, and right now it's just a list of text entries. However, if I select A2 to A7 and go to Data and click Geography, the items are no longer treated as text. They're treated as geographic items that have their own set of properties, such as population, language, capital city, and so on. The question that I was asked was about languages and how to not display the word language. If I click the Properties button, which is just at the top of the selection, I get a list of properties that relate to those countries. If I scroll down, we can see there is official language. If I click it, in the next available column, Excel adds the languages. Notice that some of the countries have more than one language. By the way, I don't know the exact source of the information. All I know is that Excel gets it by requesting it via Bing, the Microsoft search engine. Now, if I click on B2 and we have a look at the formula, the formula that's been generated by Excel uses the array to text function. Array to text converts an array into a text string with each item in the array separated by a comma. I say comma, but actually the separator is dependent on your country's regional settings. For most countries, it is a comma, but there are a few countries that use a different character, such as a semicolon. An array can mean different things depending on the context, but in this case, it means a single cell that stores one or more values. Now, B2 B3 and B4 each contain one value. However, B5 contains four values and B6 contains three values. So back to the original question, how do I remove the word language? Well, there's several ways to do it, but for me, the simplest way is to use the substitute function to substitute the word language with nothing. Actually, I want to replace space language with nothing, because if I don't include the space before the word language, that will remain in the string. So I've entered the formula into B2 and copied it down. And what the formula is doing is it's taking the text generated by the array to text function and it's replacing space language within that text with nothing. Now, there is another way to generate the languages in column B. Rather than clicking the properties icon and selecting official language from the list, you can actually enter a formula directly into the cell. So if I stay in B2 and type equals A2, because Excel knows that what's in A2 is not just text, it's a geographic data type, it automatically pops up a list. And these, again, are all the properties of the geographic data type. So if I scroll down and click on official language and press enter, it picks up the official language for Albania from its source. If I copy that down, I now get all the other languages, except I don't. You can see that for Austria and Belgium, I've got spill errors. B2, B3 and B4 each contain an array with one value in it. 
B5 and B6, as I said before, contain multiple values. Let's just take B5. Although all four values are stored in B5, the way that arrays work is the values spill into the adjacent cells down the column. But if there isn't enough room for the spill to occur, which is what's happening here, Excel displays a spill error. So if I delete the formulas in B6 and B7 so that those two cells become empty, we've now got all four values in B5 spilling down column B. Now, obviously, this isn't the way to solve the problem because we need to see the languages for Belgium and Croatia. What I would actually do is I would delete all of those and instead of typing A2 dot official language, I would use the same formula that I showed you in the first demo. Well, I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'll catch you in the next video, but until then, have an excellent day.